Hi guys, welcome to um, this tutorial series. So in this tutorial series, I'll be showing you guys how to develop um, this application that you can see before you. So this application, what it does is that um, it measures uh, water consumption by suburb. So this is a very basic um, smart map application, right? So what a smart map is, it's, it's your basic uh, map but with data uh, uh, plotted on it, right? So the data that is plotted on the map is what makes it smart. So you can get insights by just looking at the map and reading the data. For instance, um, this horizontal uh, 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 bar chart over here and this uh, bubble plot, okay? Um, so as you can see, the size of the, of the bubbles determine how much water is being consumed in kiloliters per suburb so each of these bubbles are suburbs in Cape Town yes this is Cape Town so basically um, I developed this application uh, because um, I am very interested in GIS I like uh, GIS and I love Python so what I noticed with this is that it's very uh, difficult to get started with um, Python for GIS, especially when you're using uh, frameworks like uh, GeoDjango and you want to um, integrate that with Leaflet and you want to add graphs like Chart.js, for instance, to get that those different components integrated and working together to develop um, an application such as this is is a bit is a bit complicated so if you follow this tutorial as I am um, teaching it to you or explaining it to you to the latter you will be able to uh, develop application this precise application as it is before you so basically um, Yo, what I used was Postgres SQL and I installed um, PostGIS extensions and uh, as a charting library I used um, chart.js as a GIS front-end library I use leaflet and um, as my uh, web framework I used Django so the back end is developed in Python, uh, which is connected to a post GIS database. And uh, the graphs are used, are, are, sorry, are um, developed in chart.js, okay? So yeah, I'll be showing you how to develop an application such as this. Um, as you can see here, you have multiple um, layers so we don't have this is called open street map right so another layer that we'll have is um, Esri's public uh, aerial image so this is called world right so as you can see it's very high uh, definition so we'll have multiple layers right as our base maps so you can see if you zoom in and you'll see this bubble over here so this bubble will tell you what suburb is this right okay and uh, this will be the aerial uh, base map and lastly we'll have a data map okay so the data map will make the graph the graphs or the data rather stand out right so you can do your basic analysis uh, without having the distraction of seeing um, other areas of the map or, or imagery and things like that so you just focus on the data and these labels that you can see which are the suburbs okay so yeah you'll be building up uh, if you follow this tutorial we'll be building an application such as this so this is a GIS application right and uh, it's it's a Python GIS application, okay? So yeah, welcome to this uh, tutorial series. And if you follow it step by step, guys, uh, you will 
be able to develop an application such as this okay so at a later stage depending on how how much you guys uh, enjoy or, or find the tutorials useful i'll also be adding uh, some ai because i i'm a, a big fan of incorporating uh, the latest technologies into uh, things that i develop so my tutorial series will have a lot of uh, uh, ai um, backed applications okay because that is the the future okay that is the future of application development so thank you guys i hope you will um, enjoy uh, this tutorial and uh, yeah so this, uh, this is cape town and that is uh, greenpoint stadium and these are the suburbs you might have heard of some of these um so yeah um i hope you enjoy it and you really find it useful if you do find it useful please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up and i can guarantee you guys if you follow this to the latter you will for sure be able to create an application like this and then hopefully uh, you will it will uh, put you in the right spot where you can take it further and incorporate this technology into um, applications that you might be developing in the uh, uh, GIS space or uh, uh, um, any other project that you that you're busy with okay so it will it is a very basic basic uh, smart map right um, but it is definitely a good baseline to get you developing applications of your own. So what I noticed was that it's it's difficult to set this whole, um, all these components and let them work together to develop an application like this. And uh, there's not much help out there. So hopefully this will add some value in, in uh, uh, the projects that you are busy with. And it will it will be fun. I think you will enjoy it and uh, thank you very much. Um, see you guys later.